Here you can see a typical example how such a drive plane could look like. We have the electrical machine, we have an inverter, which is used to transfer energy from a power source to the machine or in generator or vice versa. And we have in the center of this graphic, we have a data acquisition system, in this case, Genesis um, 4TB. And this system is used to measure all the relevant physical quantities we are interested in. And the system could furthermore be um, connected to, for example, a measurement PC. The measurement PC could be used to, to analyze data or also to, to set up the, the measurement settings in the measurement system. And of course, this, uh, the measurement system could also be connected to an automation PC, um, which is kind of a, yeah, a supervising control unit. The automation uh, PC could, for example, be used to uh, define set point values for the inverter control in order to drive to the next relevant operating point. And the first important question is, what signals should be measured in this electric drive plane? This is, of course, on the one hand side, if you think about um, electric uh, vehicle applications, we have a battery, therefore we want to measure the, the DC signals at the output of the battery. DC signals, of course, in reality, uh, we will also see there are some transients depending if operating points are changing or not. And we can also see some reflections from the inverter so that we have high frequency components in it. But in the ideal case, these were DC signals. In addition to that, uh, we want to measure typically the output signals of the power inverter, which are the input currents of the machine as well. And um, <clears throat> we have in this case here a three phase machine. And in order, for example, to be able to calculate the efficiency of such a machine, it's necessary to measure in addition, the mechanical quantities, torque and speed, which then define, of course, mechanical power. And beside these electrical uh, quantities, um, it's often of interest to measure temperatures, for example, the winding temperatures of a machine or also of the inverter and the battery. And a lot of customers are also interested in vibration measurements and also in um, acoustic noise signals. And um, a big challenge is, to collect and store all these signals, all these different physical quantities, um, time synchronously, and um, the raw data sample by sample in order to be flexible and to be able to calculate further parameters, system parameters, relevant quantities, everything the customers are interested in.